That is right, Blair. We are talking nutrition. March is National Nutrition Month, and it encourages people to make informed food choices and develop healthy eating and physical activity habits. Joining us this morning to talk about all that you need to know about a healthy lifestyle is Dia Fender and Hannah Grabbit, both from Logan University's Applied Nutrition and Dietics program in Chesterfield. Now, the 2023 theme is Feel for the Future, right? Right. Now, what's the aim of this theme that you guys have put together for 2023? So Fuel for the Future is about eating sustainably. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, uh, this is our 50th anniversary of sponsoring this event, okay, this congrats. National Nutrition Month, it's pretty exciting. Uh -huh. And every year the goal is to encourage people to eat healthier mm -hmm. and exercise more. Exercise and healthy, and as we talk a little bit about eating and exercising, as you get older, most of what you put into your body is what you're gonna see the result from your workout, is that correct? Well, absolutely. You know, food is fuel mm -hmm. and um, garbage in, garbage out, right? Yeah. So for sure. So we talked a little bit about salads before we came on. So if you're going to eat a salad, <laughs> Hannah, because you are a yeah. grad student, what types of greens and vegetables do you think people should maybe put in there for nutritional gain? Yeah, well, first they're going to want to eat things that they enjoy eating. Mm -hmm. So things, I always would say putting mixed greens in there. Mm -hmm spinach, those mixed greens that you get at the store. Mm -hmm. Kale is another great one to put in there. Mm -hmm. um, and any vegetables that you enjoy, carrots, cucumbers, tomatoes, radishes even. Um, you can even put some fruit in your salad as well. So you can really make it what you want it to be. A lot of options. Now you can also eat with the environment in mind by enjoying plant-based meals, snacks, and growing food from your backyard. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Any suggestions on what we might want to throw in our backyard for sustainable or tangible goods that we might want to eat? Well, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> we can grow herbs very easily okay. in our backyard. Or even if you don't have a backyard, <clears throat> you can grow them on your deck. Mm -hmm. You can grow them in your house. You mm -hmm. don't even have to have a big backyard. Mm -hmm. um, veggies, lots of different vegetables yes. can be grown here mm -hmm. in Missouri. Mm -hmm. um, tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes are peppers. a great one. Peppers. Spinach, Spin oh, all the greens, cucumbers. Spinach is good for you. Popeyes gave it a Popeye the Popeye. You know, he gave him mm -hmm. a bad rap with the spinach <laughs> back in the day in the can. Or a good one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, spinach tastes way better than what it looks like in that can. Mm -hmm. for How important is it to set yourself up for success when it comes to preparing your meal? Maybe pouring a cup of oatmeal with some fruit the night before and getting ready for breakfast. Is this something you guys suggest? That's a wonderful idea. There's lots of great ideas. Mm -hmm. I like something that Hannah said in a program she did last week. I'm my, <laughs> my prodigy. Uh, so, but she said, eat the rainbow. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, think yeah. about eating a variety of foods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sets you up for success. Definitely. And a question real quick when it comes to fruits. People want sugar. We're, it, it's part of our blood system. We need it, right? Right. It's a mm -hmm. fat. But Absolutely. you can also get good sugars and fats and carbohydrates from fruits. Which fruits would you recommend? Oh, I love the berries, mm -hmm. personally. Those are some of my favorites. Strawberries, yep. Mm -hmm. High in fiber, high in antioxidants. Mm -hmm. So uh, blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, raspberries. I love some apples in the fall. Mm -hmm. um, all kinds. I love all fruit. Whole foods. Whole, <laughs> whole foods. foods. Yeah. No, 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 that was not a uh, <laughs> plug, plug for them. But whole foods, you eat like grains mm -hmm. and meats and raw vegetables and things like that. Yeah. yeah. OK, where can people go find more information about this 50th anniversary you guys are celebrating? Oh, National Nutrition Month is online. You can find it very easily. I did a little Google search this morning just to see how easy. And the mm -hmm. first thing that pops up is the Academy's National Nutrition Month theme, Fuel for the Future, which is eating in a way that's more sustainable to our environment and also much healthier for our body. So really easy to learn more about it. You'll find it in schools this month, mm -hmm. in hospitals, anywhere where there's dietitians working, they're promoting this idea this month. Mm -hmm. And you'll find this interview right here on fox2now.com on our website. Thank you very much for joining us, Dia and Hannah.